Hello, Life Path number five. This is your intuitive message. Also, if you are a destiny number five, this message can be for you as well. So five, what's coming up in your energy is a strong work-related issue. It's so strong that I feel that it's someone that is overworking themselves. They may feel like that they're even working or overworking themselves, but they're not seeing any type of benefit from working so hard. So before I started recording this message, I was seeing this. So you are a business person. You are a person that has multiple things. Like you have multiple streams of income or even trying to have multiple streams of income. So you have your hands all over the place when it comes to work. You may have a full-time job and a business on the side. You may have a full-time job. Um, you do hair, but then you also uh, do something within fashion. Like I'm, I'm feeling that highly here. So... I also feel that it's someone here that is like a boss of a company or a manager. This could also be related with the own business that you have, but I'm feeling that it's someone here as well that is like a go-to, that's like a supervisor of a company. And there's a lot of work-related drama, work-related issues around you. It's coming up very strong in your energy. You may feel like that there are people that are in your work environment, that are being very deceptive to you, you may have befriended these people on a personal level. And then now that you've gotten to know this person personally, this person personally, then you and this person know too much about each other. And this person that is starting up this work-related drama, they're going around gossiping about you. The other side of the energy, I am strongly feeling that there is someone here who works 12 hours a day, seven days a week. You have no time for any type of um, counsel to yourself. You have no type of time to really even surprise yourself like you used to do because you are working so much. And it's almost like you feel the harder you work, the less money you actually have. You may owe a people, you may owe people a lot of money um, people may have given you like different loans and things like that to help you out with your bills. And now you're, every time you are getting money in, is going back out to pay these people back. So it's almost like you're paying these people back twice. For that being said, there needs to be a resting period for you. It's like your focus is so strong on this particular task of making money of just, you know what, this is not a year or I'm not, I don't want to feel broke anymore. And you, you miss out that fun part in life. You, you're not really living a balanced life at all. So this period in your life, you need to start taking a vacation. Your masculine energy is here very strongly to where you're all about doing things right now, making progress. But with you not inviting in that feminine energy that you need to invite in, it's almost like you're overworking yourself. You're overloading yourself with a bunch of things and you're stressing yourself out. You're starting to have like different um, neck pains. You're starting to have different headaches. Your energy feels tired. You don't feel refreshed at all. So it's time for you to take a step back. Even if it has something to, to do with this work-related drama, you need to take yourself back. You don't need to be involved with that. Um, I'm hearing, go back to the manager or the supervisor. If you are really working overtime because you're working... Um, you're not working the hours that you signed up for because there may have been some type of layoffs or overall people are calling out of work. And because you are the supervisor and the manager, if no one else comes in, you're that person that have to come in. So it's almost like you live at work. I'm hearing I might as well just get a pillow and just stay up here as much as I'm up here. I'm hearing that highly. 
your eating habits have even changed as well because you are always at work. You're never, you don't really get home in time to really cook that healthy meal that you want to cook. So you snack a lot. So that's putting toll on your body. You're putting a lot of stress on your body by overworking yourself as well as while you're at work, you're not really eating healthy because you're eating like quick things. You're eating fast food a lot. And that's another reason that I'm feeling why you really aren't having a lot of money either because you're spending $100, sometimes even more on a day on fast food because you don't have time to go home and cook. By the time you go home, you just want to lay down and relax and rest. And you don't have time to actually do the, you know, general everyday needs that you need to do. So the advice for this, you need to um, stop. You need to stop. You need to hold on. There needs to be a, some type of vacation. There needs to be a um, a social media detox. There needs to be a work detox. And you need to at least give yourself a weekend or a couple of days just to do nothing but rest. So I'm um, seeing six days off the seventh. So that means the Sabbath. Even God rested. God created the whole world. God created the whole universe. But even God gave himself that day to rest on that seventh day and do nothing. Because you need it. You need to recharge. Just like the your battery on your phone. If you are on the phone constantly all day, that battery is going to wear down. And... If you don't find a charger, if you don't find a plug, the phone is going to lose its energy and die. That way you can't do anything on the device. Even when you're just on the device and you're just texting, you're just doing this, you're just doing that, right? The phone gets too hot. So use that analogy and use that example of that's how your body is operating. You're just on go mode, on go mode, and your body is getting overheated. That way you get, that means you get sick. Your, your body is um, wearing down and is losing energy and it dies off. Not, not literal die off, but to a point where you have shutdowns, you have breakdowns, and you have no choice but to rest. So take some time out your day and really e evaluate that. Really realize that, okay, yeah, I need the money. But if I'm making this money, but not getting the proper rest I need, I'm going to be too sick and not be able to really spend the money because now I'm spending the money on going to the doctor, going to get medicines. Um, now I have to use that time that I would have liked to use for vacation, but now I got to use that time because I done got myself sick and I got to lay in bed. You have to have a balance within things. So there does need to be an ending to that. There needs to be some type of rest and some type of release. And then about, like it keeps coming up about like the, the backstabbers at your job or even just backstabbers just in your life period that you work with. Uh, so I'm feeling like, you know, if you have kids, it's that baby mama, baby daddy issues. If you're having that, just release it. Put it on pause. Don't, don't put your mind or don't put your body through any more stress than what you already have putting it through. Your body can't take it anymore. I'm seeing that... Um, you're starting to have dark circles under your eyes. Your eyes are red right now. Um, like I said, you have a lot of aches and pains. You're not sleeping right at all. You don't get enough rest either whatsoever. You you sleep maybe three, four hours out the night. Like Even if you go to bed at a certain time, because you have so much on your mind, because you are overpowering and overworking yourself, 
your mind can't really shut off. So you'll go to sleep at the proper time, but then you keep waking up in the middle of the night and it breaks that sleep cycle. So that means that you have to start that sleep cycle all over again because you're working too hard. You need to rest. Insert that emotional need that you have, not just the physical needs, but your emotions need as well. In order for you to have that balanced approach in your life, when it comes to spiritually, uh, mentally, emotionally, and physically, you have to give to each area of your life. Right now, you're only giving physically and mental stamina to your life, but not emotionally and spiritually. You're not tuning in to that energy, that power that you actually need to keep striving and to keep surviving. So just relax. Let loose. Don't always say, but I have to do this, but I have to do that. But if I don't do it, who will? It's going to get done regardless. Because if you get sick, and you can't do it, it's going to have to be somebody else that does your job anyway. They're going to find somebody else. You're irreplaceable. They're not going to replace you. So don't feel like you're going to lose your job if you don't go in. But also, you do need to set some type of boundaries for yourself and say, you know what? That's it. I'm tired. I have to rest. I have to recharge. I have to reevaluate everything. Then after you rest, then after you recharge, you will actually see that you will make more money by not working than you have by working. I know this for a fact. This is not just anything that I'm just saying. Like, how is that going to happen? It's happened to me before where I was overworking, overworking, overworking. And it was a point where I was like, you know what? I can't do this anymore. God, you handle all these responsibilities that it's just too overwhelming, too overpowering for me. And I stayed at home and slept. And each day it was like money in my account, new check. Oh, we forgot that you overpaid this particular bill. Here you are. Like I have more money just sitting down. Now I'm not telling you to give up on your responsibilities or just not do what you need to do. But what I am telling you is inject other things that you need to do when it comes to your emotional needs and when it comes to recharging, you need to prioritize that as well. Like I said, take a weekend to yourself because right now it's taking a toll on you and how you operate or how you can be operating because right now, it's like you're just robotic. You're not even operating from passion anymore. You're operating from just pure, I got to get this done. Like It's like um, you're being like really cynic right now. Is that the word? Like really, um, like a maniac. You're being really cynical right now when it comes to work. Like, I got to get this done. I got to get this done. I got to get this done. You have to rest. That That's one thing for sure you have to do. You got to rest. So put the work drama on hold. Put the work in the overtime right now. Put it on hold. God sees the needs that you have. Pray for those things. God, you see the situation I'm in. You see the way the bills have piled up for me. I need to rest. I can't do it all on my own, God. Create a space where I can get the well-needed rest that I need. And still be able to take care of what I need to take care of. Thank you, God, for taking care of it for me. And leave it alone. And just rest. And watch how God will unfold in your life. Watch how God will handle the situations. Again, even when it comes to this like work-related drama that you're having. Or you feel like the job is not for you anymore. That will be resolved as well. All right, so... That is my message for the fives today. I greatly appreciate you guys tuning in with me. Thank you so much again. And I love you and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.